Six Hawks inside the line with Habby Boulin on the bench and 40 seconds to go. Johnson got the draw back, but there's too many Hawks. Brower jumped up and got the puck. Campbell, sharp, bobbled the puck, but he swatted it in. Matias Olin gets belted and nailed by Troy Brower, but he stayed on the puck and he got it out into the neutral zone. Here's Sharp. Havlat flies in and shoots. That's stopped by Roberto Luongo. A battle along the boards. And the Canucks fights the puck to the blue line. Taves is able to keep it in with some help from Patrick Sharp. Bufflin is there. Brower is there. They're the big bodies to the open man. Campbell's one-timer block. Bufflin takes a shot on the rebound and missed the net. Taves with a shot. And the game is over as Luongo makes the save. And Vancouver has taken home ice advantage back again. Game three goes to the Canucks. 3-1. Well, credit the Canucks. They silenced this crowd early in the first period and do it here again late. Roberto Luongo doing everything he can at the end, but credit the players in front of him. Just an excellent effort defensively by all forwards and defense alike. They outworked the Chicago Blackhawks. They outchecked them. And Jim, just a perfect gem of a road game for the Vancouver Canucks. They got back to the game that they know best and excel at and defended like crazy, did a great job winning small battles tonight and won the game 3-1. to one. And at the end with the goaltender out, there really wasn't a need for Luongo to make a couple of circus saves as is usually the case when a team puts the push on at the end. Coming up, Ron and Don with their post-game thoughts on this game three. More on the Jim Ball Silly Phoenix Coyotes story that broke earlier tonight. The Vancouver Canucks are up 2-1. The Blackhawks have lost for the first time on home ice in the playoffs. Mason Raymond, Steve Bernier, and Henrik Sedin score. Luongo wins. Vancouver's on top.